Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Well, I just watched the fight for the second time, and I still have Canelo winning the fight. I don't see where you can give Danny Jacobs more rounds than Canelo Alvarez. I know the judges, two judges had a 7-5, but I don't feel that Danny Jacobs had enough effective punches. It just seemed to me throughout the fight that Canelo Alvarez was controlling the fight and he was standing right in front of Danny Jacobs and Danny Jacobs was missing punches. A lot of punches were missing. When he went into the southpaw stance, it was just not what was needed. Even though the commentating by Brian uh, Kenny was not good at all, anyone could see that the southpaw stance was not working for Danny Jacobs. It looked as though he was slapping and pushing his punches and he was getting hit more. And that was the main reason why he lost the fight. I said he, he did not need to get off to a slow start. What did he do? He got off to a slow start. He was asking his corner, am I winning the rounds? He wasn't sure. At the end of the fight, he looked beat up. Look at Canelo. Canelo looks like he was just having a sparring session as Triple G said. This was not the most exciting fight. It was very tactical. I love boxing, so I love it. I don't feel Danny Jacobs did enough, and I can't see how anyone could give him the fight because he was just looking as though he was happy to be there, and I didn't see that hunger that I saw in that video where he was doing the interview and saying that he was going to bring it and he was better than Canelo in every way. I did not see it. If I'm wrong, let me know. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.